Hello and welcome to Triple A Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the Adobe Illustrator interface. I'm going to show you around and introduce you to something you are not aware of. So, now I have my Adobe Illustrator open. <laughs> okay, so when you open your Adobe Illustrator for the first time, you will see something similar like this. Okay, whereby you have your creating new here and stuff. Okay, so without much ado, let's dive in. Let's start by creating a new document. Okay, so by creating a new document, either you click here or we go to far, then we click new. So when you click on new, a new window will pop up for you to choose your presets. Okay, so let me just explain this quickly. The recent here are recent files that you have worked on. Okay, the saved is the document that has been saved here. Okay, now we have other as a preset that I just want to talk about very quickly. Adobe Illustrator, when it comes to designing in Adobe Illustrator, okay, Adobe Illustrator have a preset. Okay, so it means that when when you are doing a design for a phone, okay, you just have to, uh, your preset has to be a phone preset. Okay, now the next one is the web. The web actually means that any design you, you are doing that is specifically for websites, okay, or maybe Facebook ads and stuff, okay, you then go to web. Now, the print here, this print here stands for a design that you do then you print it out okay so you go with the print preset okay the next one is the film and video art illustration which i'm not going to talk about that is the same as the rest okay. so now let's give our uh, new document a name uh, i'll use a basic one okay the sizes are okay, but if you if you have any custom sizes, you can do the changes here. All right. So now the point here is the measurement, and they have a list of of, of it. The point, pixels, inches, millimeters, centimeters, and pixels. Okay, pixels are for uh, phone designs and web designs. Okay, they use the pixels. Okay, when it comes to design that you're about to print and stuff. We go by the point here to inches, millimeters, or centimeters. Okay, based on the one you move best. All right. Okay, so below here we have the orientation. This or orientation actually is a tab that if you want your page okay to be in a portrait form, then you select this very first one. Or if you want your page to be in a landscape form, okay, then you go for this. All right. Okay. So now the artboard here, let me explain. The artboard is something like a page, okay? Like you have multiple pages in a document, okay? So let's, for example, see if you are to design business card, logo, letterhead, uh, flyer, brochure, five, and you want to design all of them in one uh, as a document, th then that's when you change uh, the artboard here to five. Okay, so it means that you want all your design to be in one document. Oh, right, so let me rest it to one. Okay, now the bleed here, I will not, I will not um, go into that, but as we are going, when we start doing our project and stuff, I will explain this bleed side. Okay, now we have the advanced option here. Okay, for this one, just leave it the way it is don't go there okay so when we are okay with the setup here and everything okay then we just click on create new document okay now we have created our new document and as you can see there is a lot of tools tools panels etc okay so uh let me close this one I have a file that I um, create for this project, so I just open it. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the interface itself. 
okay at the far right we have this spanner here okay this 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 is the tool spanner it contains all the tools that can be used in, in illustrator and as you can see we have a lot of icons so they are all icons okay they are they are all icons all right so this icon form the tool spanner Okay, so if you want to activate one icon here, we simply need to click and you have activate that particular uh, icon. Okay. So when a tool is activated, it has a highlight square behind it on the tool spanner. Okay, like as you can see, that gray deep give that square okay so that's what uh, that's what shows you that the, that particular icon has been selected okay now you will also notice that the mouse cursor change change indicating which tool is activated so for example if you go for the uh any tool here okay you see the mouse pointer have changed when you go for this you see that it have changed this also change as well okay so all the tools have their unique mouse cursor okay now if we look carefully we can also see that some of the icons have a little white arrows in the bottom right corner okay so as we take this as uh, rectangle have this white there so so if we if we click and hold on the icon okay it will review more tools in that set so let's go by uh this one let's click and hold so now we can see that rectangle have more sets okay so let's keep in mind okay some tools works in sets now if we take a closer look at the bottom panel we will see two overlapping squares okay which is this white board and the back uh, ground uh, and and the stroke line at the back there okay so one one appears to be the block and and one appears to be an outline of a square okay so now the top one is the fill okay and the back one is the stroke fill all right so let's use some typical example here i have this my drawing here on my artwork okay so i'll select it by clicking then to give it a fill i'll double click on the top one here so as you can see fill so the shortcut is x so i'll double click it and i want to i would like to give it a yellow color okay i want to give it a yellow color okay i'm okay with this color so i'll click okay so immediately I click OK, you see that the uh, the fill, okay, my drawing on the art board has been changed from white to yellow. All right. So now the stroke, I don't want the stroke in black. I want my stroke to be in red. So I'll click, I'll just double click on on the stroke here, okay. I'll just double click it, and I want the stroke to be red. So I'll drag this slider down to red color select my brand then i'll just click okay so this okay automatically gives you a very nice uh, uh outline so you can see that now our uh, design on the artboard it's looking beautiful okay N now when you come at this here you see this swap fill and stroke okay this this what it does if we click on this very icon okay it's going to swap the colors it's going to uh, change the full color to be the outline which is the stroke and the stroke color will be the full uh, color so let's click on it and see how it goes so the moment we click you realize that there are some swapping okay the stroke color became the full and the full color became the stroke Okay, so now let's just reverse it back to its normal state. All right, so below here, 
you see that there's another two overlapping square here as well okay so this is the default uh, uh the colors okay when you open illustrator that is the default colors so if we want to go back to our default color we just have to just do what click on it and automatically we will have our drawing back to the white and black section okay good i hope we are following